How's it going everyone? In today's video, we have some big news. On a top WWE star losing their title, another main roster call-up, and a whole lot more. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get the latest wrestling news. Alright guys, so for our first story of today, we have some big news on plans for Brock Lesnar and Bobby Lashley. So although their match at Crown Jewel ended in controversy, which saw Brock Lesnar come out with the win, the good news is that they will run it back, as the Wrestling Observer reports that the plan was for Brock vs. Bobby 3 to go down at day 1, but that will have to change after the event got cancelled. So despite his loss, it looks like Bobby Lashley will be getting another shot at Brock Lesnar sometime down the line. Next up, we have new details on Logan Paul's injury at Crown Jewel. So after a very good match against Roman Reigns in the main event of WWE Crown Jewel, aside from his loss, things are now looking good for Logan Paul, as Louis Dangor of Give Me Sport reports, that after tearing his meniscus and MCL, Logan Paul could be out for around 3 months. But if he also tore his ACL, Logan could be out of action for 6 to 9 months. So we wish Logan Paul a full and speedy recovery. Next, we have some big news on plans for NXT superstar Cora Jade. So despite only being 21 years old, it looks like Cora Jade has impressed many important people in WWE, including Triple H, as WrestleVotes reports via Give Me Sport that Triple H has big plans to fast-track Cora Jade to the main roster, and the belief in WWE is that she could be the next Sasha Banks. But even though a date has not been set for her main roster call-up, it appears like Triple H already has big plans for Cora Jade. Next up, we have some big news on plans to end Roman Reigns' title reign. So although Roman Reigns has had a very impressive title reign, it appears like WWE has started to discuss the superstar who will end his reign, as WrestleVotes reports that Triple H now has an idea on who is going to beat Roman Reigns. And although it is not expected to be for a while, Cody Rhodes, Bray Wyatt, and The Rock have been mentioned to eventually dethrone Roman Reigns. So now guys, I want to give you my thoughts and opinions on all of the topics that we discussed today. Starting off with our first topic, we did talk about plans for Brock Lesnar versus Bobby Lashley's uh, their next match, and the Wrestling Observer, they report that the original plan was for them to have a match at day one, but since that event got cancelled, WWE will have to figure out a different pay-per-view uh, to have a third match, and in my opinion, guys, I do think that Bobby Lashley and Brock Lesnar have had decent matches, and I do think that a third match would be the last match for them, and I'm excited to see what happens uh, between them. The next story that we talked about was kind of an injury update on Logan Paul. And as we all know, he did suffer a meniscus and MCL tear after connecting with a frog splash uh, onto Roman Reigns on a announce table. And uh, Louis Dangor of Give Me Sport did report that because of his injuries, uh, Logan Paul could miss around three months. But if Logan Paul also tore his ACL, he could be out for six to nine months, which means that he could miss out on WrestleMania 39. Uh, so hopefully it's not six to nine months and we wish him a full and speedy recovery. The next story that we talked about was plans for NXT superstar Cora Jade and WrestleVotes their report via Luis Dangor of Give Me Sport that Triple H has big plans to fast track Cora Jade to the main roster. Uh, the next story that we talked about was plans for Roman Reigns, uh, WWE's plan to end Roman Reigns' title reign. And WrestleVotes they report that Triple H now has an idea of who is going to beat Roman Reigns. And although it won't happen anytime soon, a few names that have been discussed about potentially dethroning Roman Reigns are Cody Rhodes, Bray Wyatt, and The Rock. So those are some names that have been mentioned about uh, for 
uh, who can beat Roman Reigns. And in my opinion, guys, Roman Reigns has had a pretty good run as Universal and WWE Champion. And I think that his storyline has been very good for the last, I think, two years. So it will be very interesting to see who WWE eventually chooses uh, to beat Roman Reigns. So with that being said, guys, that is all of the news that we have for today. Make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.